Welcome back friends to Avatar's Barbecue. In today's episode, we're going to be doing a continuation of our smoked holiday beverage series. And for today specifically, we're going to be doing smoked eggnog. This will definitely bring your uh, holiday beverage game up a notch. You're definitely not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned. Welcome back. This, is, this recipe is super simple, doesn't take any time at all. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So this is going to be a double smoked eggnog and how we're gonna achieve double smoked is simply this. So got my National Lampoon's moose mug here and the first step is we're gonna be smoking our glass. Now the reason we do this is because uh, the oils from the smoke will adhere to the inside of the glass giving it one more element of smoky flavor. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. So I'm gonna take my cocktail smoker. Now, if you've never seen one of these before, these are widely available on Amazon. Um, a whole bunch of different price ranges from very cheap to very expensive. I'd say do whatever it suits, suits your best interest, you know, whatever your price point may be. But uh, this works well for me, so we're gonna use this today. And so we stick our, holiday, or our cocktail smoker on a glass. And today I'm gonna to be using applewood uh, wood chips. I'm thinking apple is gonna pair well with the eggnog itself. So you just put a few chips in there. And then here I got a little uh, kitchen torch. These are, again, widely available. Most of us already have these. Let's go ahead and give it a light. And you just let that smoke. And if you can kind of take a look, the smoke is drifting down the chimney into the glass. So all that smoke residue is adhering to the inside of the glass. You're going to want to let this sit for right around 60 seconds or so. Uh, if you want an even more intense uh, smoky flavor, you can let it sit longer. Or if you don't, if it's too strong for you, you can um, not do it as long. I found about 60 seconds works just fine. So we're going to let this sit for 60 seconds. Um, we'll bring you right back. All right, it's been 60 seconds. Let's go ahead and give this a look. And I'm going to lift this up. And you can see the smoke drift out of that glass. And if you, can, you can kind of see the hazy residue inside this glass. And this is exactly the oils from the smokes that I was talking about, and this is exactly what we want. So that's step one. Step two, eggnog. For the ease of use of this video, I just bought some store-bought eggnog. It's readily available for most of us. But if you have a homemade eggnog recipe you'd like to use, you can definitely use that instead. So let's go ahead and give this, fill this glass up. All right, and then step two, we're gonna smoke it again. So we're gonna add a little more wood chips and light it up the same way we did last time. Now what that smoke is doing is it's adhering to the surface of the eggnog. And once again, right around 60 seconds is really all that you need uh, to, to do this. And if you want it stronger, you can definitely let it set longer. All right, so 60 seconds, let's give it a peek. All right. So now, it's good to go at this point, but what I like to do is I like to add a little, a little cinnamon to this. Um, you can use nutmeg or you can use both. So for this presentation today, we're just gonna add a little sprinkle cinnamon on top. We're gonna take cinnamon stick here. We're going to give that a little stir. All right. And there you have it, folks. It's literally that simple. So let's go ahead and give it a taste test. Cheers, folks. That's good. Right off the bat, you get the smell from the glass. And the eggnog itself has a little tiny hint of smoke. This is really good. Folks, if making stuff, unique uh, holiday beverage items uh, for your get-togethers this, this holiday season is something you're into, definitely stay tuned. I'm gonna be making a few more of these videos just for this season. It's stuff you're not gonna wanna miss. And if you like what you see here today, folks, please consider hitting like and subscribe. 
it helps keep us putting this content out for you and it's something that we really enjoy doing so we want to keep going at it um, if you have any suggestions for stuff maybe you'd want to see on this channel by all means leave a comment below and I answer every single comment that I get so folks give this a try you're at your next gathering and uh, like and subscribe otherwise folks uh, I'll see you next time take care